Hello, everybody. Andy here, AK Montolio, and we are back for another Vintage League and playing my favorite deck today, playing some Scam. And this deck has, I would say, been one of my favorite decks over the last year. I, I pick it up every now and again and try and sneak some wins out with it, and then I shelve it again, add some cards to it, put it away, rinse, repeat. And there hasn't been a whole lot of innovation with the deck. Uh, over the last little while since Bowmaster has been printed, but this deck just basically has a whole bunch of disruption, hand disruption in griefs. It's got thought seizes in it. Uh, obviously, if you can reanimate your griefs, that's very powerful. It's very disruptive with all the different hate bearers in the deck with Bowmasters, opposition agents. We've got, I've got a Shieldred in this particular build, and of course, Deathrite Shamans for attrition, mana ramp. We are running some main deck removal in this particular build. Uh, which I think is perfectly reasonable where Vintage is right now. And that, at its crux, is what the main deck is doing. And sideboard, we have some Null Rods there uh, to help augment the one we have in the main. Uh, strictly there for Jewel would be the main purpose of having it. But Jewel is somewhat on the decline right now. We probably could shave down on that somewhat. Then on the Void for Bizarre Strategies, uh, maybe Side Splash of Breach, and uh, some Mind Break Traps to help control uh, different combo decks. But... Uh, let's take her in today, guys. Appreciate you hanging out with me as always. Like, comment, subscribe. We're going to see you in round one. Okay, here we go. Round one. Dark, car Dark Quarter, as I recall, is typically a combo player. This hand is slightly awkward, but I'm going to keep it. I think what I do is I just lead with thought sees. I mean, turn one opposition agent is is good against certain decks, but yeah, we we have multiple options here. I could, I guess, dark ritual, cycle troll. Well, I guess Thought Seize first. Chancellor. Oh, okay. So this is probably, knowing this particular player, this is probably Oops All Spells. And this puts me in a pretty bad spot, right? Because the Chancellor trigger is just really good. Yeah, not much I can do about it, really. I think I just got a pass here. I'm not going to burn it because I don't have any interaction. I'll just cycle troll. And if we're dead, we're dead. Strip mine's a good one. I'm going to go get basic swamp here. Okay, so this might be initiative here that we're playing against. Um, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn my uh, thought seize here. I can't pay the trigger. And I'll pass turn. Nice to have the on color mocks here for initiative. Points of Peacekeeper. So they're going to take my dark. Well, I guess reanimate is really the best thing that they can pick here. I still can cast it. Would love to draw land though. This is really a byproduct of Chancellor being really good in this particular scenario. I guess I could have burned a reanimate there instead of the thought sees. Yeah, reanimate makes sense. Okay. Hmm. 
four mana here. Now, how do we want to do this? And second reanimate doesn't matter. I'm going to play this out because of Thalia. Mm -hmm. Season Dungeoneer is really bad for me here. Archon, yep. Okay. It's pretty good. Could kill the Archon and reanimate it. I don't hate that. This does hit me pretty hard, though. Eleven, right? Because I'm going to go down to ten right now off the dismember. And that would put me to seven. But then the following turn I can start bowmastering to block this thing. I think that's pretty good. I think I'm okay with that. I mean, the other option is is that I kill the Anointed Peacekeeper, which I don't actually think is great. I'm going to attack. Has to be blocked by three, right? They might have a solitude in hand here. It kind of sucks if they have the solitude, but it just is what it is. Oh, I got to pay three for it. Oops. I still win this race as, as we currently stand. Yeah, okay. Probably shouldn't have played that out there. Should have let them. Uh... Okay, there's the troll. Can okay, I do a bow masters here to flash? Yes, Troll of Cause of Doom. Pretty sweet. Okay, um. Don't really have a great sideboard here. I mean, I've got some pretty mediocre cards here. Like, Op Agent is pretty mediocre. It, it is a body that can get in front of uh, a 3-3. Do I want Ley Lines? Or, uh, excuse me, uh, Mind Break Traps? 
they're really bad if I don't have them in the opener, but maybe that's just a sacrifice I think that I need to make. It does dumb down my briefs a little bit for having a card to pitch, but reasonable. Okay. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. Unfortunately, we're not winning die rolls here. It, it, it does matter quite a bit to this deck, but be it as it may. Ooh. Yep, all right. That was actually a really decent draw for me. Like, do I want Shieldred here? I'm not sure what I'm playing against. If it's Doomsday, I mean, Shieldred's really good. I guess I'll try it. Dark Ritual gets countered, so be it. They may let this go think I'm casting a spell, and I'm just casting Shieldred here. I, I like that, because I'm set up to, to make some nice plays next turn. I've got a number of two drops. And so they do have Force of Will, which is not a surprise. Fluster Storm, okay. I could have opted to make two, two, two drop plays there. Is Doomsday? Yep. I guess op agent was the way to go. It wouldn't have got through anyways, but. We'll make them execute here. But given that they have two underground season play, I think we're probably dead right here. There's still four cards in hand. Now, what do we got against Doomsday? I, I don't feel like it's terrible, to be honest. We've got no rods, which I think are pretty reasonable. Mind break traps. I like those. Okay, here we go. Okay, so they got the gush on me. Let's see if they stacked right. Yep, I, got, I, I, I don't really want to show them the op agent, but I want to know that they've done their pile right. There's still three cards on top of their library. Okay, so they've got Ancestral. That's going to do it. Okay, let's see if we can do this but a little bit better this time. I do feel like we have some good tools here. I, I don't have a lot of experience in the, against the Doomsday matchup, per se, but with this deck... I don't know how good Voidwalker is. I mean, probably not great. But 
but maybe it's better than death rate. I don't know. I think I want something like that. I think this is probably fine, guys. It's a little clunky having four null rods against them, but I guess the idea behind it is, like, let's get the null rod in. We can waste them out. It takes them away from their fast kills with Lotus. Like, I think it's pretty reasonable. It's a really nice hand if it works. I think I pitch troll. That way, if they counter my first reanimate, I've got a, a second. But that said, that said, guys, yeah, I think it's because it'd be nice to have the troll just as an extra land because I'm a bit choked on mana here but I think it's worth probably pitching the troll to be perfectly honest with you Tabernacle, interesting. We don't need to worry about wasteland here. So what do we want to take here? Not really crazy about them having Mystical Tutor. I think I'm going to take the Mystical Tutor. The Dark Ritual is definitely dangerous. But... If they go off with Doomsday, I do have double Mind Break Trap to buy me some time. Two top, okay. Don't mind if I do. It's going to give me some mana ramp here, and it's also going to help me deal some damage, which is pretty important given the circumstances here. So, so they can tabernacle me here. I'm going to cycle my troll here. It is possible that they can counter the grief, but... And I am going to play the grief here. I think it's better than troll. Despite it hits at half the power. Well, they have missed up. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. 
So they are low on resources. They have Dark Ritual and they will have two cards I don't know about. So if they Ritual into Doomsday here, then I can counter that with my Break Trap. Okay, I like it. Didn't play around days. Actually, yes, I can. Yep. Maybe this is better to be going for troll. I'm not really sure, but I feel like disrupting them is just so powerful taking a card out of their hand. Okay, I'm in. So I know they have a ritual. Oh, wow. Gonna take their doomsday. Now, by attacking, I took myself, I put myself in range of days. Gosh, okay, one. I might, that was a pretty big mistake, I guess. Like, look what they're doing here. Okay. I will not make that mistake again. Unless I draw land, then I'm good. Hmm. Well, Daze is a card I don't really want to run into here. I will draw land here sometime in the next turn or two. That's not optimal. I'm gonna put them on the two turn clock. I've changed my mind. I have to find an answer right now. They're going to have to get through Double Trap here. Well, one of them, oh, they have to get through a trap because the other one will be countered by days. I just never found a, a third land. Yep. Not ideal. I know two of the five. Okay, they are going for it. Three life. Hopefully that missed attack with that death rate, the turn proceeding doesn't end up costing me. Hard cast a street wraith. I'll let the demonic go. If it's a cut down, it's a bit of a bummer, but I can just drain them. 
well, I guess that depends on when they cut down. If they cut down during my turn to kill the grief, I'll have paid for it. But uh, the tabernacle tax and would require me to draw land. I mean, time walk's a good one, but I, I will fight over anything that tries to get them out of this turn. Like, they have to go for it because they're dead. So this is this is where I make the decision one way or another. I'm going all in. I mean, my opponent had to, was thinking hard there, so... Okay, there's a big dig. I don't feel amazing here. I know two out of the three cards, and let's say it's Doomsday. I think I fight over this. It's pretty awkward, but I feel like giving them this mana or this dig through time for free is playing with fire. Let's see if that works. All right. Don't know if I played that one perfectly, but we will take that. Now. I like the way I'm built. I could put in Pithy Needle for Street Wraith, but how do I feel about this? It's probably fine. I think this is probably fine. If I find a reanimate, it becomes really good. So this is an ancestral, unfortunately. I'm going to wasteland it first before I grief. Interesting. No ancestral. Okay. Okay, they didn't force. I'm going to take a gamble, and I'm going to take the mist up here. If they draw exactly Dark Ritual or Black Lotus here, they will win the game. But otherwise, next turn, I'm going to Thoughts... Or actually, I'm probably just going to Wasteland. And take them off the only land I know. That's a, this is a risky play from me, but I think it's worth it. Okay, had, had I known I was going to draw that, I think I would maybe play this one a little different, but...
Empiric Tutor. I will not let that happen. I guess they have negation here. Okay, I let it go. Oh, I shouldn't have let it go. Now it's Necro. I couldn't have stopped it anyways. Okay. Yeah, that's really unfortunate for me. They ripped a vampiric. Yep. Shucks. That was a mistake. And I mean, this is what happens, right, guys? Like, you, you make a decision, like I made, and it ends up being quite costly. Okay. So the bad news for me is it, now the way I've done this is they still have a force negation in hand unless they pitch it, which is just awful for me. Like that was a really pivotal decision that I made there, not using the misstep on the vampiric, thinking, oh, well, it's uh, I can't get it through anyways. And so a big mistake. Let's see what we can draw here. Yeah, Thoughtseize is not that helpful here. That's so weird that they left the Force of Negation in their hand with no blue card. This is going to take them down to eight. I think all the life I can get here matters. So they can't Doomsday next turn unless they get into a Dark Ritual off the Wraith. I think that's pretty low prevalence. I have an answer to cut down for my bow masters. So they can have Street Wraith, they can have Mock Sapphire. I think they can have Force of Negation. Doomsday is without a doubt the most dangerous card here. But do I take the jet? Take their doomsday there. I don't know if that's correct or not, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm kind of hanging on by the hair of my chinny chin chin here, but okay. I'm presuming they're going to street wraith here. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Down to seven. Five. Four.
I think it's still Thoughtseize, guys. I realize they have negation here. They can hard cast. So they did have Force of Will. Something to note. Okay. So they're down to five cards here. And they've gotten rid of their negation. And they got rid of a Force of Will. So this misstep might be decent here. Do I do I do it here? I don't think so. I think I let them have it. On top, on bottom, okay. Force of will, okay. Pretty, uh, pretty nice set of necros there to be able to. That's pretty low prevalence that they'd have all those. Boy, can't really necro here. Oh boy, that's nice. Do I just bowmaster them in their upkeep? I think so because they can't doomsday me if they do that. Just even plunking them for one damage here is significant. They do have the cut down. Yep. But now they're at one, and so they're at the mercy of what they get right here with one mana. That which it will not be easy. Okay, nice win for Scam. Okay, guys, here we are in round three. We did win the die roll this time. Yeah, I don't know what we're playing against. I think this is pretty reasonable. So what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to play a Mox Pearl. And then we are going to cycle and we're going to go get a swamp and I'm going to thought seize. Let's see what we're dealing with, hopefully. So we're playing against Oath of Druids. I feel like it has to be force of will here that I take. I, I'm, I'm really wanting to take... I guess I can counter the probe. Let's take the force. Yeah, I think this is fine. Next turn, hopefully I can wasteland. Probably my opponent's likely to sit on their fetch. It's a little bit of a high-risk uh, probe, but... Not a great draw for us. I 
I guess spell pierce would be the reason to do that, but. So we might need a bit of help here. Death Rite was a reasonable draw. The problem is with Death Rite is that I really want to get this Bowmaster going. Just in case my opponent's got a daze here of some sort. But because we're playing against Oath of Druids, I am going to put this into play now. I really want to apply as much pressure as I possibly can here. And hopefully they miss on a land. They didn't. Okay. I think we're losing this. Um, they got a missed up. I don't know what that means. All right, I'm in. Mm. Found an oath. There's an oak. Oh, show and tell's worse. Hmm. I'm going to lose to that. Don't think I have an out here. Uh, Dismember, I think, is the only card I can think of here that is somewhat helpful. Drain to six. Pretty nice. Like, I feel like we got a little bit unlucky there. I will say that. I mean, we're just end of the time walk here. All right. So, let's see what we have against Oath of Druids. I don't think this is a good matchup for us. Oath has been out of the metagame for a little bit now, and, yeah, we literally have nothing. We've got nothing against Oath. Okay. I think I'm just going to concede the fact that if they have, if they have, um, a quick Oath that we're just kind of screwed. Like, I think that was pretty lucky. That my opponent, I, I think for the better part of peeled three lands in a row, two lands in a row there. And that's pretty low prevalence for something like that to happen. Okay, I do like this hand. The problem with this hand is I don't have... Good disruption, that's the issue. Once again, guys, I, I think I'm going to play my game, and I'm just not going to worry about what my opponent is doing. That's not how this deck wins. We have to apply pressure the, the old-fashioned way, and Chalice allots us some, some leniency here. I 
Oh boy. So I guess I just I'm going to flash in my op agent and hope it works. I like that. If I can get the Misty here, it's really powerful. And then I, you know, like if I get the Misty, then I can strip mine whatever it is they play. As long as it's not a second fetch. So I am going to force their hand here. Next turn, I'll try Shieldred. I'm going to proactively drain them here. Let's just hope they're all on fetch lands. It's a bit of a tough predicament for them because uh, if they're on fetch lands, they're in trouble. If they're on non-fetch lands, they're exposing their land to potential wastelands, which is pretty powerful. Okay, so now is where it gets really hard for us. I think I am going to play into Mind Break Traps, play Mind Break Traps. I'm just desperate enough to do that. I feel like Shieldred's pretty bad. Like, you know, Lotus, Mox, Ulther Druid, something like that. Like the Mind Break Trap, despite it's bad, it may just be enough to get me into a position where, okay, where I can untap and do something. How do I feel about this hand on the draw? I don't really like it. I think I can do better. Yeah, this is something I like a bit more. I can put a troll away. Yeah, it's probably fine. Let's try this out, guys. Once again, it's not great, but this is what happens when you play a deck like this, right? So Mind Break Trap would have been live. Okay. Okay. So I can't really beat a resolved oath. One of the few ways that I can do it is by taking a card out of their hand and reanimating it.
So that's it's kind of the nightmare scenario, right? They just have to turn one oath. Like, they're, look, they're not doing anything. Null rod would be great. But everything I've got in my hand is not very good. Like, Voidwalker is interesting insofar as they exile a whole bunch of cards and I can attempt to replay what it is they exile. Like, I guess one of the best things they could do there for me would be something like an Oko. I sacrifice my Voidwalker, play an Oko, and then I get to Oath. Let's sit and wait for a minute here. We're not being pressured to do anything. The tracks is what we want here. Interesting. Dot CVs even, eh? That recall is pretty nasty. I think I have to play to my outs. I know that that's extremely dangerous, leaving them with that ancestral. I guess my question is now is just, do I go for it? I think they found it right away. <laughs> The Bowmaster is not great here. They chose not to thought seize because they've got the ancestral. There's not much I can do about it. And the problem for me is they've got two Okos in their hand. Like, that's kind of a card that I need to hit. And, like, me Bowmastering, like, getting them for, you know, three with the Bowmaster, four with the Bowmaster, and having a 4-4 four, four is certainly not optimal. If they do it during their turn, which they won't, but if they do, I will probably cast the Bowmaster. They didn't. All right, I'm in.
They made my decision for me. And hopefully we draw a black source next turn. Like, the, the likelihood that they're going to find something like a flooded strand there is like, or not a flooded strand, a forbidden orchard is like quite reasonable. Let's see if they do anything here. All right, well, I'm just going to get going then. I don't want to pass turn here at, or pass priority and then have them waste them and me not be able to cast it. I know there's an Atraxa coming, but this is a lot of damage. Let's see what they do. Like I can put them to three for sure. Oh, they did hit an Oko, I think. So I guess they get to choose these. Do any of these go in exile, I guess? Maybe I'm wrong. No, none of them do. Oh, here they are. Okay. Oh, there's a time walk. A time walk can win this for me, potentially. Yeah, I cast the other one. What did they get? So they do have a force of will here. Um, can also cast this member, but they have force. There is an Oko. Hmm. I mean, it's unlikely I can do anything here. Um, yes, let's see what they draw. Reanimate would be fantastic for me. Let's see what they discard here. Yeah, I, I don't really feasibly see a way out here. I think what I do is I sacrifice one of my Void Walkers. I think I cast Oko first. They force. Or do I do Oko? Guess I do Oko. There are two Okos here that I can cast.
And like me having this third void walker is significant. Okay. Do another Oko. Do I reanimate? Go demonic tutor into reanimate? No. Okay. It's pretty significant. Okay. Here we go. They could go quite far into their library here, guys, of note. I don't think that was great for them. Their time walk's gone, and that's a really key card here. So, we could go for time walk. I can make their 3-3. Three, three. Their attracts a 3-3. Three, three. I'm just not even sure that's the right thing to do here. Like, I almost feel like making their guy a 3-3 three, three and attacking for 7 is very strong. Okay, I was hoping they still didn't have that. That's the last Oko. Yeah, this is really uh, surprisingly difficult. 
Let's see if they go after my Dothy Voidwalker here. Like, we do have the line of sacrificing my Dothy Voidwalker, demonic tutoring for um, reanimate on their Atraxa. And that's almost assuredly going to win me the game. But maybe not. I don't know. Like, the replenishment of the cards in my hand is very strong if it does work. What's bad is if they counter it. Three, four. And they don't run a lot of Force of Vigors. Um, Flusterstorm could beat that. Well, it would be one, two. No, so I can still pay. Because I'm not having to pay mana for the Dark Demonic Tutor. I also feel like Time Walk is really strong. But if they don't... Oko oh, my Void Walker. It's also not unreasonable to attack my opponent. They will not be able to kill my Oko. It's tough. I, I think we need to see what my opponent is going to do here. Like, I don't even know if my opponent has another Atraxa. So they are going after my Voidwalker, and that is not unreasonable. That's a good one, guys. Attack with both, right? Maybe I don't. I'm just not sure this is a really, really difficult decision for me. I think I attack Oko, to be honest. So they do have one more. All right, here we go. This is, oh, they didn't even look with their top, guys. All right, let's see how far they, this could kill them here. They did an oath. I wonder if uh, Trax was in their hand. If they make a creature, I can 
trade my null rod. So it is in their hand. I don't believe any of that helps them. Now they can turn turn their stuff back on here if they want to make my null rod into a creature, but I'm not sure how good that is for them. I mean, we have some good draws here too, guys. Like we're just talking about what we have on the board here. Like that unfortunately is not one of them. Okay. So first things first, I mean, we're going to make this is a three, three. And then we get into a battle of making creatures. And I have the biggest creature on the table, so I guess I pass turn. Okay. I'm not thrilled with how that sequence turned out, but... One, what are they going for here? Can't imagine they have a whole lot left. Do they still have Ancestral? They didn't find. Okay. Uh, not to set myself up for failure here, but I can't imagine they just have too much else going on here. But let's find out. Ooh, that was nice. Okay, um, yep. Yeah, that's pretty tough. Okay, so they are definitely killing me with all their artifacts here. So I am losing this all of a sudden. But, what happens if I let them kill Oko here? And I attack back for four at theirs? That doesn't really work out, does it? Mm hmm I'll let Oko take that. We just need to draw something, I think, here. That was just a really unfortunate draw for me. I get to get into something here. That was a really good draw.
No, that was pretty good, guys. I get to get an Atraxa. Can't imagine a world where I want to do anything else. Wow, what a game, guys. That was insane. Like, my deck is just really not capable of ever beating Oath of Druids. It's just such a bad matchup. But we beat a turn one out there, and I think the MVP for sure was Douthy Voidwalker there. Um, yeah, very, very excited to have won that game because highly improbable. And, yeah, we got there. That was sweet. Okay, well, we stayed in queue a little bit later, and unfortunately, I've run into the same player, uh, which is really disappointing because Oath of Druids is just literally an unwinnable match for me. Um, and, and, like, that was a heroic effort in winning that last one, and I don't anticipate we're going to fare well here. Um... Can't keep this. All right. Well, I will keep this. And I guess it's got to be... I guess op agents the one that probably is the odd man out here but once again if my opponent's got that big turn one oath it's going to be really hard for us to win but if they don't this is the kind of hand that can give us a chance oh boy yep let's hope they have an attracts in hand Okay, well, there's my turn. Okay, second oath. So they have a mana crypt in hand. Land is good. Just bide our time for a little bit here, just like we did last game. have to fade the orchard okay just remember I believe it or not just remember is actually not terrible here Dark ritual. Yeah. Like the likelihood they have one in their hand and, and attracts is not great with two cards, one of which I know is a mana crypt, so. Maybe I just need to have some Pesajus in this deck. All right, that was a good draw. Let's take a look and see what we're dealing with. Yep, 
Maybe I wait one more turn here. Don't have to discard this turn. We'll go. We'll go one more turn here. Increase our chances of seeing something. We're under no pressure here. And all rod is a good draw. Okay. So they're going to go on us next turn. Let's hope they have an attraction in. If they do, we, we can win. Well, I mean... Hmm. I'm just wondering, do we go right now? Like, they're not going to be able to trigger Oath next turn if I don't, but the following turn they will. Guess we may as well delay it for a turn as we can. This will be an Orchard they play. Oh. To just make my mocks now. It makes sense. So what do I want to do here? In truth, like, I can dismember my own mocks here. And, like, Oko can't really do much to me at the moment. I, I don't know. Is that even a winning strategy? I know they have a Besaju in hand here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> don't want to play a Lotus out if I don't have to. I know they have a Besaju in hand here.
Sorry about the lack of commentary, guys. I'm just trying to grind down here and get a little bit more of my clock back. Tinker. Set it all the way up. Hmm. Play the Lotus out. If they want to target it with Oko, I'll just sacrifice it. Oh, there. Oh, damn. I didn't see the orchard come in. I, I wasn't paying attention. All right. Well, that was a little bit of a mistake. Oops. All right, let's not waste our time here. I mean, the, the, the sad thing is, is my opponent knows what we're playing. And they are just so insanely favored against me. I think we want this for Oko. It's just extremely unpalatable. But uh, I think Deathrite is just really bad, too. Let's try this out, guys. That's the problem sometimes in vintage queues is you get double queued into other people, and it just—I've never liked that about leagues. It just um, you run into bad matchups, and you have to play the exact same player again, which is just—it's not fun, right? For anybody involved, but um, this hand's really awkward. I mean, I have a turn one bowmaster, but does that even do anything? Okay, um, pretty awkward. Maybe she should have went to five, I don't know. Wow. Oh boy, guys. Pretty awkward. There's the oath. Oh, they're on show and tell, huh? This is almost uh, uh, heart wrenching that I could draw two of my mocks and like that, I'm not a land. Yeah. I'm going to show and tell here. Oof, druids. Yep, that's about the worst case scenario we can have. Mm 
Don't have to do it right here. Yeah, pretty horrific uh, situation here, but we did it once. Let's see if we can do it again. But beating the resolve oath is just like um, very low percentage. If you watch my previous game, there you'll you'll know that right even up until the last two minutes of that marathon game I, I still didn't think I could do it um put a void walker I guess Just uh, get into Oko here and put it on my Void Walker, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yep, nothing I can do. What's interesting here is if, I mean, this is not going to work. Because they have the force. I guess if they don't have a blue card or something like that, it's fine. But Okay. Let's see if they take one of my mocks away, but there is a possibility that my opponent blocks with a Traxa and doesn't have a force in their hand, and I can dismember it. They're just not even interested in what I'm doing. It's pretty funny. They're just going to kill me outright. Like, Dismember doesn't look very good now. All right. They got me. Very disappointing to run into them twice, uh, feeling good about my deck, but uh, you can only get away with it so much against Oath of Druid. Okay, guys, round five. Didn't win the die roll here. Hmm. I think this is worth keeping. Shielders is uh, a shielder is really powerful if I can get there. Just have to hope I can get my opponent with a fetch land here and op agent or bowmaster, depending on what they're playing. That we got a Lurus here. Mox. 
boxes in. Time bolt. Well, that's kind of scary, isn't it? Okay. Well, if they have the key here, I'm in trouble. Do I go for it? Probably. So what I'm looking for here is some discard. My opponent has force, okay. And they can get Lurus next turn. I mean, that was pretty good. I'm gonna do this while I have an opportunity to, to do it. Children's just a brute. Now, I am dead to Volt Key. But Shieldred is no joke. They added Shieldred back to the list today. So my opponent is faced with the decision to, if they have another land, they could bring Lurus into play, cast it, and recast Lotus. Or they can wasteland me off my, my lands. Ooh, wow, they're just going deep, eh? Well, Lurus hits hard, or Shieldred hits hard in these spots. I do have main deck Null Rod, which would be very good. They do have a land, okay. Wow. So they're just trying to set up a kill here next turn. Bolt key. That doesn't stop Lurus from accumulating. No. Okay, I mean, Bowmaster might be able to ice us off here. Now they could have Force of Will in hand too, but... Let's see, guys. So opponent has conceded. Okay. Sometimes the big guy can just get it done. They could see me wanting some number of... I don't know if they're on Saga. Maybe that's good. I don't know. I kind of just like the way I'm set up, to be perfectly honest with you, but...
In all honesty, I mean, Null Run is pretty good. Thoughtseize is not quite as good on the draw. Let's try this out. I do like having some a, a few dismembers. Okay, what do I think of this hand? I don't really think it's good enough. They can just do better than that. Yeah, this is really nice. Hmm. I think Pithing Needle. Well, it's interesting because if they do have Saga to lead off, Pithing Needle is really powerful here. Against my better judgment, I'm going to put the Null Rod away. I think these all have a lot of value. Saga is one of the few cards that really scares me. And having the Needle is pretty good there. Okay. Pass turn here. So they might have their own Bowmaster here. I, I do like the mist up. I would have loved the land there, but. Well, it's very possible we're facing a force of will here. But we can reanimate the following turn if they force. So we certainly telegraphed what my opponent was doing there. I feel good with that exchange. They have to have removal for the Bowmaster here in order to progress their game in a productive way. So they do have another Bowmaster. Okay. Yep. I would not mind having a wasteland here. That's pretty good. All right. So they were the first one to find some wastelands. And see if they sit back. Mm -hmm. OK. 
Okay. Great Urza Saga removal. Both are Druids. I'm going to get my Bowmaster or my Douthy Voidwalker in here. I'm going to attempt to. If they force a will this, this is okay. And we are currently winning this race. But they don't have a wasteland here. So they're going to pull Lurus here. Unfortunately, I can't get them with Op Agent. I wonder if they're going to go for Black Lotus. Or are they going to go for Ancestral? Ancestral's interesting if they do, because I do have a Void Walker, but maybe they're looking for removal here. Maybe it's a Swords. Okay, just do it on my upkeep, I guess. Would love, would love a grief or a thought sees here. That's actually not bad, believe it or not. Um, do I want to trade here? I don't think so. No fetch here. I can only get one of them. I can't get both. Oh, they're setting up Twister Bowmaster. And they have their own missed up. All right, that was pretty good. That was also very good. I feel like wastelanding them is pretty good here. I'm gonna get my bowmaster into play here.
Oh, look at them. They got their own Bowmaster here. All right. Well, that was pretty good for them to have that. We're having a real duel here. Um, thank goodness I didn't go and use Lauren Revealed there. Well, I do think I attack with both here. Um... Funny enough, I could I could sacrifice my Douthy Voidwalker to Demonic Tutor to go and get another Bowmaster. And I can cast the Bowmaster. Killing theirs, making mine bigger. And they won't have a bowmaster anymore for their wheel. I think I like that. I have bowmaster still right. Okay, I think I like this line. Just to talk with that for now. And now, like, if they wheel, they die. And I do not die. And if they have to fetch, they can't because of op agent. Well, they can, but they won't find anything. So, yeah. All right. That was a battle of Orcish Bowmasters. How many Orcish Bowmasters had the stack there, guys? Crazy times. All right. Well, what to say? I, I thought this deck was pretty sweet today. Um, a little unfortunate that we got robbed of our 5-0 against Oath of Druids, but that heroic win in round three uh, is almost like a 5-0. It felt so good. But that said, guys, that happens on Magic Online. You do get paired against the same people sometimes when there is not enough people in the queues to try and keep the flow going and say la vie. But I got to tell you, this deck is really powerful. It's... Uh, it certainly has its moments where you just shred your opponent's hand apart and every one of these creatures in this deck is a savage hate bear. Uh, had a good showing there from Opposition Agent. We had Orcish Bowmasters. Even Shieldred made an appearance. We had Troll of Kaza Doom beat, uh, beat White Initiative early on when we were behind. Grief, obviously, really is the mainstay in the deck. Uh, a huge game for Douthy Voidwalker against Oath and... Uh, Death rate was pretty bad. We didn't play against any bazaars though. And this deck has a pretty good bazaar matchup. But guys, appreciate you hanging out. And uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. We're going to see you guys next time.